In this screencast video lecture, we are going to see about the methanogens. Which organisms are referred as methanogens and what is their habitat and what are the various kinds of coenzyme systems that have been involved there in converting carbon dioxide and methane and finally how this methanogenesis process is happening. What is methanogenesis? It refers to methane production which is commonly produced there in the damp as well as swamp areas. It was first noticed by Alessandro Volta. You may remember Volta. Volta is a person who has invented the voltaic cell or galvanic cell. Interestingly, this methane is produced by biological process. In this video's top right hand corner, you can able to see a link of a Volta experiment that have been conducted earlier. You just click that link and see how methane has been produced there in the natural environment. Apart from biological production, it can also be produced using certain chemical process which is referred as a Sebastian process. In this process, carbon dioxide in the presence of reducing molecules such as hydrogen at a very high temperature and pressure with the help of catalysts like ruthenium, alumina as well as nickel, it is converted into methane and water. The same process can be effected there by a special group of archaea called as a methanogens. So, this biological methane production is mainly attributed to the archaea present in an environment. Archaea refers to the third domain of life. It consists of some special bacteria which commonly lives in the extremophilic conditions. Here, the Archaea that is involved in the methane production are commonly referred as a methanogens. They found to possess various kind of C1 carbon carrying enzymes as well as redox enzymes that helps in converting carbon dioxide into methane at a very ambient temperature. As it is a biological process, it does not require a high temperature or high pressure to combine hydrogen with carbon dioxide to produce methane. Here, the carbon could be from different sources. That is, it can be of a carbon dioxide or else it can come from the other sources that have been listed here. That is, it includes formate, methanol, acetate, methylamine. These are the things which can be able to supply carbon for converted to methane. For the total process of this conversion, 8 electrons are required for reduction of carbon into methane. Biological production of methane is referred as methanogenesis process. It can be carried out by metabolically two different kinds of group of organisms. One are referred as a hydrogenotrophic organism. It employs anaerobic hemolithotrophic process in which carbon dioxide is combined with hydrogen and methane will be formed. The other groups refers to the hemoheterotrophic group of organism. They are also referred as a acetoclastic group of bacteria. Mainly in both this group, archaea are involved and these organisms are referred as methanogens collectively. Here in the hemoheterotrophic process, the carbon is supplied mainly from acetate, methane, methylamine as well as methanol which are further converted into methane in this group of organisms. The reduction of carbon dioxide with hydrogen is a major pathway of methanogenesis and it's a form of anaerobic respiration. The pathway in which the methane is formed is referred as the acetyl-CoA pathway. The methanogenesis comprises of various biochemical reactions that employ different coenzymes for the process. The key coenzymes are divided into two groups. One is a C1 carrier coenzymes that is they are involved in the initial steps of the methanogenesis process mainly to carry the substrate that is carbon dioxide and finally forms the product methane. Whereas the second group that is the redox coenzymes are those that involve in supply of electrons that are required for reduction of carbon dioxide into methane. Before going into the detail of the coenzyme we try to understand something about the environment in which you can able to come across the methanogens. So these are all the various environment in which methanogens could be present. They include say wet wood of the trees, rumen, certain special structures that have been present there in buffaloes, even cows and methanogens could be present there in some special structure of the alimentary canal such as a cecum of a horse. 
they can be present inside the protozoa and they are naturally occurring there in the black sea mainly on the carioco trench of the black sea which are comprised of anaerobic regions then even in human intestine especially in the large intestine you can able to see a presence of methanogens they can be present in certain unique environment of the earth such as a hydrothermal vent ecosystems they can be present in the taiga forest that have been located there in the tundra regions and they can easily isolated there from a landfill marshes sediments even in the rice paddy system that is in rice ecosystem the reason is a rice ecosystem is the one in which water will be always inundated and it will be completely of a anaerobic in nature next environment in which they can be come across are the sewage sludge digester systems in which you can able to see the methanogens presence and as like the protozoa they can also present there in the termite gut regions mainly in the hind gut regions you can able to come across the presence of methanogens names of the methanogens have been given there in the down side of the every example of the environment that have been discussed so far next we will try to see in a broader scale what are the type of methanogens that could be present there in the environment the methanogens belonging to the group of archaea and they fall into the following category of the orders that includes methanobacterials methanococcales methanomicrobials methanosarcinales and methanopyrales now we we'll look at the explanation related to the coenzymes that are involved in the reduction of carbon dioxide into methane here the first group as we already discussed is a c1 that is carbon dioxide carrying coenzymes four different coenzymes play a major role there in the methanogenesis process it includes coenzyme methanofuran coenzyme methanoptring coenzyme m which is referred as a coem and coenzyme f430 now we look at certain detail about these enzymes say the methanofuran coenzyme is required there in the first step of the methanogenesis process methanofuran contains five membered furan ring and an amino nitrogen atom that helps in binding the carbon dioxide and carrying it to the next coenzyme the coenzyme methanoptrin resembles that of the vitamin folic acid and it plays an analogous role that have been played by tetrahydrofolate mainly they involved in carrying the c1 carbon in the intermediary steps of the carbon dioxide reduction to methane the next one is coenzyme m it's a small molecule which is especially required there in the terminal step of the methanogenesis it is mainly involved in conversion of methyl group into methane that takes place at the terminal process of methanogenesis and the last coenzyme is coenzyme f430 it is basically a cofactor nickel containing tetrapyrrole coenzyme it is also again needed at the terminal step as a part of methyl reductase enzymes that belongs to class 2 redox coenzymes this is a complete enzyme complex that is mainly involved in the reduction of carbon dioxide into methane next we try to look at the points related to the redox coenzymes two redox coenzymes that is coenzyme f420 and coenzyme b are basically of a 7 mercapto heptanoyl threonine phosphate containing electron donating coenzymes that have been involved there in the methanogenesis process first we try to look at the points related to coenzyme f420 it is a flavin derivative containing enzyme structurally resembling flavin coenzyme fmn that is flavin mononucleotide it plays a major role in the methanogenesis process as a electron donor in several steps of the carbon dioxide reduction the oxidized form of coenzyme f20 absorbs the light at a 420 nanometer and it can able to create a fluorescence light of a blue green color this is a useful property that helps in the microscopic identification of methanogens from the other anaerobic pathogenic organism that may be located in an environment next one points related to coenzyme b it is required there in the terminal step of methanogenesis it is catalyzed by methyl reductase coenzyme complexes it 
resembles as that of the vitamin pantothenic acid which is a part of acetyl coenzyme A. Next, we look at the steps that have been involved there in the methanogenesis process. Methanogenesis is the process by which certain archaea can be able to combine carbon dioxide and hydrogen to produce methane. The methanogenesis could be effected through three different kinds of mechanisms. One is a type 1 that is carbon dioxide reducing or hydrogenotropic group of organism. This is the one which happen majority there in the earth system. This could be effected by the bacteria that belong to the order methanobacterials as well as methanomicrobials. Here the genus includes methanobacterium, mainly methanobacterium thermoautotrophicum, then methanobrevibacter, methanospera, methanothermus. So these are all certain important groups of bacteria that are coming under the category of hydrogenotropic methanogens. The second category refers to methyl reducing group of methanogens. Most of the organism that comes under the order methanosarcinales are all methyl reducing in nature. And third group comprises of acetoclastic group of methanogens. Here the classical example includes the methanoceta as well as methanosarcina genera. Among these various kinds of methanogenesis process, as I already told, type 1 is an important. We will going to discuss that particular mechanism in detail. In this process, electrons that are required for reducing carbon dioxide into methane are mainly originating there from the hydrogen. However, in certain group of methanogens, the hydrogen could be originating there from other organic compounds such as formate or certain alcohols can be able to donate electrons that can be able to reduce carbon dioxide into methane. Now, we look at into the various steps that are involved there in the hydrogenotrophic way of methanogenesis. In the first step, carbon dioxide is activated by the methanofuron containing coenzyme which is involved in reducing it to the formal level. Here, the electron for this reduction are supplied from hydrogen and feridoxin is the one which acts as the electron carrier in this process. In the next step, if you look at the formal group is transferred from the methanofuron containing coenzyme to methanopterine containing next coenzyme. In this step, it is subsequently dehydrated and reduced in two separate steps to form methylene and methyl levels. For these steps, the immediate electron donor is mainly the reduced F420 containing coenzyme. Finally, the methyl group is transferred from methanopterine to an enzyme called coenzyme M. So, the methyl containing coenzyme is reduced to methane with the help of methyl reductases. In this particular process, the coenzyme F430 as well as coenzyme B are involved. In the first step, coenzyme F430 remove the methyl group from methyl group attached coenzyme M forming a nickel methyl complex. You may already aware the coenzyme 430 found to contain nickel as a cofactor. This complex is further reduced by coenzyme B generating finally the methane and a disulfide complex that is a complex comprises of coenzyme M as well as coenzyme B that are united by a sulfide linkage that is with a disulfide linkage. After the formation of methane on the very final step the coenzyme M as well as coenzyme B are regenerated by reduction of coenzyme M as well as coenzyme B containing disulfide complex with hydrogen. The various enzymes that have been involved in this pathway have been numbered as the 1, 2, 3, 4 like that and their respective enzymes names are all provided there at the end. In the final process of methane regeneration, ATP is synthesized with the help of ATP synthase enzyme that will be used for the further growth and metabolism.